the kicking game, I know the situation, we've talked a little bit with Kirk, but the situation with Aaron and obviously you guys bringing in a transfer to help with place kicking, how confident are you with depth? Is that a, is that a concern for you as the special teams coordinator right now? Not a concern. You know, I feel good about the guys in the room. I feel good about the, with the work that they've done thus far uh, in-game and also throughout spring and, and in the fall camp. So who's who's taking the majority of kicks behind, place kicks behind Drew right now? Uh, it's been Drew. So it's just been Drew. Nobody. Okay. Right now. Um, as far as uh, punter is concerned, Tory's obviously been here, it seems like, forever now. Um, has his leadership really been a, a strong thing for this entire group? I'm glad you asked that because uh, I, I feel really strongly about Tory Taylor as a, as a person, as a human being. I think one thing that he's really improved upon is his leadership. It's not something that, uh, that he is uh, overly overt about or anything that he's ultimately comfortable with. However, I think he's really taken a step forward, and you know he, he helped uh, lead a, a Hawkeye championship team victory over this over this season or off season, excuse me. And so it's been fun to watch him grow and mature in, in that role. And uh, you know, I think about the return specialist and, and Cooper's role. Um, you've obviously had a, a nice stretch of return guys. You think about Charlie Jones, etc. But uh, w what kind of a jump have you seen so far? Eight practices in from Cooper. Can he take his return game to the next level in 23? Yeah, I definitely think he can. There's other guys as well. You know, the newcomer Kayla Brown has done done a really uh, good job so far. The little bit I've seen of him. Uh, you also have guys like um, uh, have guys like uh, Nico Regani. Uh, Caden Weijin, guys that have, have kind of stepped in that role and been working on it for the last year or so, and then also uh, you know some freshmen that are, that are working on it. Uh, a couple of guys we feel good about: uh, Terrell Washington, you know, is a newcomer that's kind of done well. Seth Anderson, a couple of guys we feel like can help us in the punt return game, and then you know you add uh, Caleb Johnson, who I think is a real good kick returner. You know, last year was his freshman campaign. I think you'll see a different guy this year uh, back there, and then you know, just trying to see who, who's going to win that job. We haven't quite started a kick return yet, but uh, next week we'll get into that. In terms of uh, your own kicking and, and punting, of course, uh, Tory Taylor has been a uh, a remarkable member and asset of special teams in a position that's often overlooked. He's been a standout player. Just tell me how he's been developing and what we can expect from him. Yeah, I think uh, what you can expect from Tory is the guy comes to work or practice every day and works incredibly hard on his craft. And it's starting to show. It's starting to turn the tide. Uh, if you've seen a lot of talented plays, a lot of things that he's done uh, so far, I think the sky's the limit for Tory Taylor uh, here and beyond. And just a phenomenal human being, phenomenal young man. You know, the charity work that he's done, the leadership step forward that he's taken this year, uh, it's just been fun to watch. What have you seen in terms of, you don't have Aaron now behind Drew, have you been giving Alex some opportunities there? I remember he did that in high school. Uh, yeah, he did that in high school. That was in high school, so not, not so far, no. All right. What's your plan then, aside from maybe wrapping Drew in bubble wrap? <laughs> yeah, I don't think we need to do that. I think Drew's a football player. He's an athlete. He doesn't really need to be wrapped up. Uh, you know, we'll have a plan when the time comes, and we'll execute it when it gets here. But right now, Drew's taking the majority of the kicks and done well. In terms of Luke, how helpful is it to have him back again? Yeah, Luke, Luke is uh, the stabling force, I think. You know, he's, uh, he's a little bit wise beyond his years, a little bit, uh, he's a quiet leader within the room, uh, does a really good job. I also think Liam Reardon, who's uh, another a little bit older guy as far as um, age in the, within the room, I think he's the ultimate teammate, uh, does a really good guy, not only for our group, but on the football team, sorry, excuse me. And uh, it's just fun to watch those guys. And then with Luke, he had the play last year, at least once where he snaps the ball, goes down, yeah. makes a tackle. Do you see that a lot from long snappers? Uh, I think Luke Elkin, yeah. I mean, the guy's an athlete, man. He, he was a high school quarterback, high school receiver. You know, the guy can do some stuff. And so uh, snapping the balls, he's really good at, but he's also good at being contact space. Thanks. Yeah, thank you. You said there's a battle for the kicker, for the kickoff returner. So what does it look like? What does a starting kick returner look like to you? What do you look for? What I look for? Uh, yeah. First off, ball security, right? So a guy that makes good judgment, can field the ball cleanly. Uh, guys that understand the track and the track that we're trying to run, and then guys that can hit the home run. And so I think we've got a group of guys with that right now. Caleb Johnson, you know, he took the, the bulk of that last year. Uh, you got guys like Nico uh, who can do that. Uh, Caleb Brown has been a new addition to our to our team, a welcome addition. Uh, we've seen a little bit of flash, a little bit with that. We've seen uh, Seth Anderson, 
Uh, there's some other guys out there with Caden Weijin, uh, Deshaun Lee, some younger guys that, uh, that I think can, can maybe assume that role as well. What's, what's Brown's biggest strength? You said ball security, having home run in the yeah. tracks. Which, what, out of those three, what's I, I his biggest strength? I think home run is what I've seen so okay. far. We haven't even installed kick return mm -hmm. yet. Okay. You know, we're just practicing fielding balls mm -hmm. off the jug machine and, and that kind of those, okay. those fundamentals right now. But you know, just watching him on offense and seeing what he's done in punt return, I could see him. I could see him back there. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Lavar with the coaching carousel yeah. going around. I know you don't want to address you know potential other jobs, but I think we'd be remiss if we didn't ask you. Yeah. Um, do you get calls during the off season about other head coaching jobs? Yeah. I, Other places. I, mean, I have a job here that I love, and I want to execute this role as best as I possibly can and do the best job I can here at Iowa football, and that's my focus. Fair enough.